I'd like to just welcome everyone to the Ecology Center. Let me just give you a couple minutes on who we are, and most of you guys know, but this is the perfect example of, of our ethic as an organization. You know, we, we believe that people can make a difference. We believe that people working with their hands, working together collectively, can transform their community and therefore the world. And uh, this is our work workshop series called Backyard Skills. And Backyard Skills is just the DIY sustainability primer for all things, whether it be container gardens or homemade beer or worm bin construction or garden techniques. It's, it's all over the board, but it usually ends with a product and of course starts with uh, you know, a concept like design and, and sort of involvement of, okay, I want to do something and take this on. And, and so like this box is more than a box, it becomes a garden and hopefully the conduit into something greater. So this is my brother, Elliot. Um, I wrangled my brother into this one and I wrangle most people into everything we do. My brother, long story short, is, is a furniture designer and he's done many pieces around the center. And I said, hey, let's do, can you design something up for us? So, you know, within a, a very small, short notice, he came up with this box here, which is just, it seems really fun and practical and super simple. So the things that work best in container gardens are herbs. You know, any type of culinary herb will work great, whether they're annual types like cilantro or parsley, um, you know, um, dill or basil, all those things really work great in these boxes. Or even your perennials, your rosemary, your oreganos, uh, your thymes, that kind of stuff. And it's, it's so nice. I mean, you can literally put this out your back door and you're guaranteed to have herbs every day. So this is going to be one side of the box and we'll all go through this. And the way that I assembled it, there's probably multiple ways to assemble it and we'll, we'll probably evolve as we go. But um, really essentially the first thing to do is just get the first plank on to the legs and uh, make sure they're square. One side is flush and one it's staggered so we'll have an overlapping on this side. But let's just get this one screwed in. You know, eyeball it because that's a pretty good tool. <laughs> this is dead, the eyeball. <laughs> and the screw, I always pre-drill to avoid splitting and just to make the job a little easier and it makes a stronger bond also. The uh, fibers aren't as crushed. Can't find wood like this anymore. <laughs> These are gourmet boxes. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. it smells really good. Eventually when the box is assembled, there's going to be a piece that ends here, a plank that ends here. And then I'll make sure it's square. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just, this is, you know, for a plant and it's not a piece of furniture. And all we really need is one screw because when everything's all assembled, all the screws will work together to make a structure. And the reason we're not using nails is because when the, when the wood gets wet and expands, the nails can loosen up and pull out and the box will fall apart. So that's one plank. Then we'll go to the next one and it's stagger. So if it gets a little easier as you go, we'll still check the first squareness because things could move. This is one side of the box. That's the inside, the outside. And what we'll do is we'll duplicate that exactly for the other side, including, what I mean, duplicate even the, the offsets like this, because when you flip it around it, it becomes the opposite. But we'll have it flat in front of you, the same. So uh, we'll make another one of these. Then what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll all have helpers to help us hold the sides up while the side planks are screwed on. And then you have something that looks like that one on the table. Awesome. Pretty simple, right? It will be helpful to try to keep it square. We don't want to do this too much while we're assembling it. So, uh, carpenter square here before we do the next one will help. Mm -hmm. Well, the way I did the, the prototype one was I had two by twos attached, um, running like kind of like this, but in the ground in here. Oh, okay. And then the bottom was attached just underneath here, and it just was a little bit more streamlined that way. But I think this way is, is it will be fine. It'll be it'll conserve wood. This this uh, adjustment that we're improvising, I think it will save some wood, which I think is good. How many planks are we going 
good here. I'm thinking three. It has to be three. So we'll just evenly space them here, and that looks good to me. It's good to have space because that's that's the drainage. So like I, like we talked about earlier, if you the soil as a dry matter it will flake through the bottom, but once you start, so you might lose a teeny bit, and we can fill up one of these boxes and we'll see how much. But it's very little. If you are concerned about it, you can put a little bit of newspaper down to start with, and that'll decompose. But um, once the soil is is moistened, it becomes a mass, and so the the yeah, yeah. the ventilation is good. Spacing. Hey, I do recommend doing two screws on each bottom plank just so we uh, have some okay. integrity to it. And that's about it. So the most complicated part is really um, fixing this joint, this joist in place. And um, you can see mine's not perfectly straight and you can see the bottom is starting to curve up here a little bit, which isn't the end of the world, but if it was much more than that, we might want to redo it. So we'll want to make sure it's flat. And this, using a block like this will help against the side to, to find it uh, levelness. Can we have one more gather up? I just wanted to say thank you to everyone. You know, all, through that whole process, it, we all learned a ton. And it's just, I guess, so gratifying to see there's looks like 10 boxes which are now 10 gardens that are going into the community. So hopefully that was as fun for you guys as it was for us. Yeah? Okay, cool. And then as, um, right, so this, these, these will grow and grow and grow for many years. And then uh, Kristen and uh, Gabrielle just planted up a little salsa garden here as a thank you to my brother. He made the box, but we planted it for him. So you can see there's peppers and eggplant, cilantro, um, it looks like, couple other things parsley in there so there you go so stack them and take photos when you guys plant them if you don't mind send them over we'd love to share them to our community online and all that kind of stuff so again happy gardening happy growing thank you so much cheers guys